Okay, let's start with the microbiome. So the microbiome is approximately 100 trillion different types of microorganisms, bacteria, yeasts, parasites, fungi, that it's almost like an organ. It weighs about one to two kilos, depending on the person. It's almost the same weight as your brain. And it's so critical. Like in the past, we've kind of been almost brainwashed to think that bugs, these bugs are bad, bacteria are bad. You know, you've got to have these like antibiotics, you've got to have, you know, sanitize your hands. But it turns out that you know, protecting the microbiome and encouraging the microbiome and balancing it and keeping it healthy is absolutely essential for your health. I mean, they're not the enemy, they're, they're part of us, they are us. And you know, the latest science is saying we're roughly 50-50 bug and microorganisms and our own cells. But from a gene level, it's even more. It's something like 10 to one. So there's more genes from your microbiome by you know, 10 times as much as your own genes in your body. So was anybody aware of that, this information? Okay, that's great. So what's the microbiome responsible for? It's responsible for about 80% of your immune system. It's important in unlocking nutrients in your body, vitamins, energy, digestion, production. And this is why it was so important for me because when I was, when I was first, I guess, diagnosed with my mental illness, the first thing they want to put you is on some sort of serotonin uptake inhibitor, a Prozac or Zoloft. And how that works is essentially it's, it's effect impacting serotonin in the blood. It's keeping serotonin in the blood longer and serotonin is your feel good hormone. But 95% of serotonin is produced in the gut. So this is why, you know, how you feel is so important when it comes to balancing your microbiome and having the right types of bacteria in the gut to produce serotonin with your own cells. So they work synergistically together. Bifidobacteria are the main species working with the gut epithelial cells to produce a lot of the serotonin. Okay, so I mentioned having a balanced microbiome. So what happens when the microbiome is, is good, it's balanced, you've got the right types of species dominating. So you're resistant to infection, you're well nourished, you will lose weight because the microbiome is involved in weight and also primarily it's a detoxification organ. It's almost akin to the liver and toxicity is one of the main reasons why we accumulate weight in the body because fat is a storage mechanism for toxins. So the body will not let go of fat if it is toxic because it's a protective mechanism. If it let go of all this fat, it will also release too much toxins in the body. So it's very important for your weight loss aspect. Energy and vibrancy, a lot of digestion, 60% of digestion is energy and is involved in digestion. So when you get an optimized digestive process, you will have more, more energy to spare. So energy and vibrancy, a feeling of well-being, very much related to serotonin production and healthy skin. Because what typically happens is if your gut is imbalanced, it is reflected in the skin.